Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for September 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to Divine Conversations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So, Libra. Um, I, you know what? Spare the long intro. Thank you guys for being patient with me. If you if you're new to the channel, welcome. But if you've been if you're you're an OG, thank you for being patient with me and getting these readings out for this month. I apologize for them being late. Let's just get straight into your pre-shuffle energy. The first card that came out for you here that is the Fool, and it did come out in reverse. And I, honestly, what I want to say about this, Libra, is the first thing I felt for you is no new start here, or you're not taking a leap of faith with something or someone. This just is not in alignment with you. It's just not right the right thing for you to do. However, for others of you, you're not taking this leap of faith until you communicate about something or until you're able to communicate about something or until you're able to hash something out or have a conversation about something that has to do with the past. Six, eight of wands to the six of cups, but that's on top of, ooh, the wheel of fortune, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck, Libra, you do have the six of swords. So... Here, Libra, this can either mean that you have a cycle, an overarching cycle that has been happening for you over and over and over again, whether it's with, like, say, if this is in a romantic sense, whether if this is with the same exact person over and over again, or you just keep attracting the same individuals over and over again. Doesn't always have to be love, though. It could be any sort of circumstance that you find yourself in some sort of like karmic loop almost is what I want to talk, what I want to say here with the Wheel of Fortune. I do see the Wheel of Fortune as a karmic hamster wheel sometimes. Now, um, two main things that I'm getting for you this for this for you, Libra, is first, you're not I, I think you're not trying to dive into this type of situation any longer. Maybe you finally realized what it is that you needed to do in order to cut yourself off this karmic hamster wheel, which would be why you have this eight of wands energy, this clear and open space. Um, and so you're not doing this any longer. Or for some of you, you're not willing to go any deeper into a situation or maybe you're not willing to enter into a relationship with someone, whether that be business or love or creative partnership, whatever. You're not willing to dive into this until you have communicated enough or there is enough clearance from whatever situation you dealt with in the past. So either something needs to be cleared up, something needs to be hashed out, something needs to be talked about, or you need to feel comfortable enough that this situation isn't just going to be a recreation of your past because you are trying to move away from that. Six of Swords to the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're on your path, your desires are right, and you should allow yourself to move forward in this way. You should allow yourself to assert yourself. You should allow yourself to stand up for yourself somehow, okay? I know it's weird that my head, I'm not sure if my head's actually getting cut off here because I think when it gets onto YouTube, it's a little different. But when it's on my phone, my head's getting cut off and it's weird and I don't like it, but whatever. I would rather you guys see the, the table and the cards anyway, yeah? All right, Libra, let's get into this for you. Oh, look, the sun is at the bottom of the deck. Huh, fancy that, okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Libras, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Yeah, okay, Libra, I'm gonna give this five shuffles for you. One, but the color that I just saw for you is brown. Oh, en espanol, marron. Uh, this is two. And I feel like you're really grounding. I, what I wanna say is you're really grounding into something. This is three. I feel like you learned, You've really learned a tough lesson is what Spirit is saying. Or you finally come to the realization or understanding of why certain circumstances have happened a certain way. 
and now which has given you that exact same result over and over again on that karmic hamster wheel and now you're realizing that you don't want it anymore and you're working on getting yourself off that karmic hamster wheel i like that libra this is three good lord i had a mosquito flying around the room while i was doing virgo's reading this is four and it finally like landed on me and started biting me and now i have these like bites on me that are fucking annoying sorry this is four <laughs> And this is five. All right, Libra. Let's see what we've got for your month. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Libra. The king of swords. Yup. I like that a lot, Libra. First of all, this could be you as an air sign. Technically, it represents Aquarius, but I'm not even looking at the signs like that. Like, I'm talking about what's going on. I see another mosquito. What, I mean, it's Puerto Rico. I shouldn't be surprised, right? Mm -hmm. well, what is going on in your life? And I really feel like, Libra, you are showing up as this king of swords energy right now because it's straight up facts. Like, especially in the sense of, I kind of feel, damn, I just got bit, y'all. I kind of feel like, um, I'm sorry, hold on a second. I'm going to go, I'm going to pause so I can put some <laughs> bug spray on. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that, Libra. Um, I've been leaving my doors open lately and I don't have nets, like a screen on my door yet. Um, so they've just been coming in. I have a light that like attracts them and, and, and like zaps them, but it doesn't always get them right away. And I still have the opportunity to bite me like that. Anyway. <laughs> Libra, I really feel like you are showing up as this King of Swords right now because it's your objective. No, it is your responsibility, but also, I mean, like, I don't even want to say responsibility because I, I don't think that's how you see it. I think you're not looking at it like, oh, this is a burden or this is like an obligation. No, I feel like at this point in your journey, Libra, you are 100% ready, prepared, and are very, very willing to work on seeing something as clearly as it is, to define it for yourself, and then to make the right move moving forward. And that's why I really feel like this King of Swords energy is here for you, yes? There you go. Because underneath the King of Swords, you do have the Two of Pentacles. Underneath the Two of Pentacles, you've got the Six of Pentacles. And underneath the Six of Pentacles is the Eight of Swords. But Libra, this is not you, this is not you being in that Eight of Swords energy anymore. This is you breaking yourself free. Okay, the Eight of Swords is definitely representing a jailbreak for you um, in, a, in, in, in some sense of the term or the phrase or the word, right? Uh, <clears throat> so with this King of Swords energy, I really feel like you're being as objective as possible and you're working on finding the full balance in a situation that allows for a, re a reciprocal relationship, whether this be love, business, finance, partnerships, creative partnership, whatever this is. You are looking to find the balance here in order for it to be reciprocal. And that's great, Libra. That is absolutely great. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, you have the Page of Cups. A renewed sense of relationship with your inner child is what that just said. Um, it's almost as if you have a new emotional outlook on life which is allowing you the emotional stability and wherewithal to face this situation as it truly is and not really allow your emotions to get too far in the way. I do feel like your emotions are probably leading the way right now, or at least you really are honoring your emotions. But I think for a lot of you, what may have happened recently is that you got a better grasp on your emotional reality, you reconnected with your inner child, you cleared up a lot of the trauma and the circumstances that were surrounding you staying on that karmic hamster wheel, or at least at this point, you are actively working on clearing up that karma or that trauma. So that's allowing you to pr approach this from a new emotional reality. I like that a lot, Libra. Page of Cups is coupled with, ah, the Nine of Cups, Libra. Look at you, man. This is really good. I, I, I just feel like you are way more stable, grounded, and secure within yourself, emotionally speaking. There's a sense of satisfaction about who you are or what you've been through or who you've turned out to be or maybe even just where you find yourself in life right now. But, that, but, but Libra, I, I really want you to understand 
that sense of emotional stability and even spirit is saying emotional maturity is what's allowing you to be in this king of swords energy whereas in the past you may not have been able to be this objective because you were too sensitive or you were too um focused on or hypersensitive towards or hyper aware of the emotions of other people because you were gaslit when you were a kid or when you were younger oh right okay uh, but uh, whatever now you have that sense of so emotional satisfaction within yourself to say, look, it is what it is. And if this situation isn't balanced and reciprocal, I have no problem telling you to take a hike. And for some of you, Spirit just said, that is exactly what's been missing all along. Your sense of security, stability, and groundedness emotionally within yourself. Kudos to you. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. Now you've got the Nine of Swords. Uh, but quite frankly, what I want to say is this is past anxiety, because that's actually the first thing that came to mind when I saw this. By the, a spirit said, or I heard, this is past anxiety. Okay. Nine of Swords is coupled with... Ah, here you go, Libra, the King of Cups. This right here is that emotional stability I was talking about. So whereas in the past, you may have been really distraught about something, you might have been having nightmares about something, you, you may not have been able to sleep, or it was just something that was constantly causing you stress and or anxiety for years. I want to say for some of you, it was for years. Well, now you have gained that sense of emotional maturity to weather any storm that you come up against, which would be this. The fear, the anxiety, the over-emotional whatever, like whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I ain't trying to label you, so like whatever, don't even go there. But like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> the, your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Libra. Aha! Da -da -da -da. Judgment. Now, it, this I don't feel like this is so much of a challenge for you anymore. Yes, Spirit just said, yes, it was. It was an extreme challenge. It was a big challenge. And it doesn't mean that it's not still a challenge for you. However, I feel like you are overcoming or, or answering this call or, or surmounting this challenge like a fucking champ. <laughs> it is what I want to say. That doesn't mean that you don't recognize the challenges that you still have ahead of you. That doesn't mean that you don't, don't recognize that there are some situations in which okay, I know I still have to deal with this, I know I still have to deal with this, I know I have to still do this, 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 have this conversation with this person, confront this person about that, but you know what? Right now, I'm good, and I'm able to continue answering this call that's been put out for me here. I like that a lot, Libra. Judgment is coupled with ah, the Ace of Cups. Now, Libra, what I am getting for a lot of you is that your challenge right now is to make sure that you can, you do everything that you can to maintain this sense of self love for yourself, and that is going to, is in fact going to going to require you to make some cuts in your life, to be as objective as possible, to see what is going on around you as clearly as possible, and to act accordingly with this sense of emotional maturity that you have developed here. King of Swords, King of Cups. Okay, so your challenge right now, Libra, oh, I did this backwards. Your challenge, at least in the first half of your reading here, what you could be facing right now is maintaining this sense of connection to unconditional love that the universe, that you have established with the universe, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Libra, two of wands, yes, yes, Libra, there are choices that need to be made here. There's a decision that, you, that needs to be made um, I, I honestly, I feel like for either the month of September or for whenever this message resonates for you, Libra, this is a time period of deliberation, of getting to the facts, getting to the bottom of what of whatever circumstances you find your, around you right now or you find yourself associated with and making a decision as to which would be best for you to pursue or follow through with, okay? Two of Wands is coupled with Ah, the Four of Wands. I was going to say the Four of Swords, but it's not. It's the Four of Wands. Um, I was talking about swords here, so that could be why I was saying the Four of Swords. Look, Libra, what I feel like this is saying, Two of Wands, Four of Wands, is you have, you really, I mean, your foundation is set, Libra. You've been doing a lot of work on yourself lately. 
And because of that, now you have a stable, sturdy foundation from which you can make the best decision for yourself moving forward. This is definitely a checkpoint time period. This is definitely a situation in which, or a period in which, we'll use the building, the house building metaphor. You're building a house from the ground up. You've got the lot. You've dug the space where you're going to put the foundation, right? The crew comes, lays the, um, the framing, pours the foundation. Great. The foundation is now dry. Great, but it's not set. You have to give that foundation, that cement foundation, some time to settle into the earth because over time it's going to settle in a little bit as it packs the earth down around it. That's surrounding it, right? Okay, great. So while you're waiting for the house, the, the, the foundation to settle, now you can go through all the deliberation to figure out how you want to proceed moving forward. Make sense? Excellent. All right, Libra, so there you have it. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over to the second half of your reading over on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon yet, I highly recommend you check me out there. Lots of great stuff already up there. Plus, there's going to be even more in the future. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. All the information can be found in the description box below. Also, if you would like to get yourself a personal reading, please don't hesitate to email me. That information is in the description box below, my email address. Yes, just email me directly and let me know what you want or what you're interested in and I will get you set up. With that said, Libra, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I also hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Cool. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>